I think it's nearly finished. <laughs> ah, yeah, just uh, uh, why do we need case mix adjusted hospital data? Just uh, we change a little, we left the too much technical ground to go up here. Yes, but the question is why? Huh? So <laughs> it was an epidemic. It started uh, from one uh, things and uh, then moved to other things. So it's a mix. Uh, each country is using uh, in, uh, in some way, uh, not in another way. So every patient is unique. When you ask to any healthcare professional, say, and that since the beginning, this DRG story is impossible. Each patient is unique, which is true, which is true, which is true. But to manage and fund hospital, we need to understand for different group of patients if the difference we see in clinical outcome are or are not related to the mix of case. You see, the death rate of a very severe disease must not be compared with the death rate or a very common disease. And you see there was some scandal uh, in the US at that time, they decide to give the death rate by hospital without giving the, the severity, the DRG. You just can compare a death rate by DRG. Yeah, yeah, so. The difference in clinical setting unrelated to case mix. Of course, a very technical hospital has a bigger budget than a small rural or semi-rural hospital. Of course, you see. So you need DRG for that. And uh, difference in cost unrelated to case mix. The question is that you need to compare the cost by a group and not, uh, the, the, for instance, you can, uh, it's easy for each hospital to compute the cost by patient or by stay or by day. It doesn't mean anything. You can compute it, that's fine, but what, what it means? Nothing. You just can compare cost by group of patient, similar, and to finish, comparing apples and apples and not with pears or apricots or uh, and uh, so uh, and so I will be back uh, for that uh, on my on the next uh, presentation after the break uh, so can be used for funding that's clear but can be used only for build the budget and managing within the organization. Benchmarking, the review between organizations. Quality assurance, safety based on routine data. I will address that uh, in the next presentation and to planning. So you see uh, the use case are very, very important. And uh, it seems hard to go, uh, how you say, uh, search for the future and not research uh, for, for the search for the future without that, you see. And uh, 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 as an example, as an example, I'm go back to the coding of ICD. Uh, as you didn't ask me to have a presentation on ICD, I am doing now. But ICD, the International Casinal of Disease of WHO, has been created initially in the 19th century for the cause of death, mortality, okay? And then a lot of uh, modifications were done, and then now we are at the ICD-10, and since ICD-8, more or less, it was decided that it can be used for morbidity. For, of course, there is a lot of disease who does not kill the patient, that's fine, okay? That's nice. And it has changed, uh, it has changed. But now, as there was a kind of uh, inquiry on the use of ICD-10 all over the world for different causes, of course, it's used for mortality in nearly any country, okay? But for morbidity, 
the most important use of ICD-10 is for case mix, is for DRG, showing clearly that all these use cases uh, are very important for the healthcare system, and more or less you cannot live without. Okay, and uh, so I just take this uh, comparison, you see, but uh, for ICD-9 or ICD-8, they were mainly used for mortality. They are still used for mortality, but mortality in most country is one center by country. Okay? In, uh, and then you move to the hospital size. So, you see, the number of people concerned, the number of code produced is mainly related to case mix all over the world. And that, I think, was my last slide. Thank you. <laughs> we have about uh, 10 minutes before we break for tea. So you can ask questions. But uh, just to set the ball rolling, can I ask one question? I'll ask on behalf, because we have uh, good uh, representation and leadership from nursing. So when you spoke about uh, uh, the DRGs including or excluding physician payments, mm -hmm. And now what was running through my mind is what about nurses? Because on the one hand, they do most of the work. They may not be paid as much. So is it immaterial? That is one. Uh, uh, how is it factored in? Uh, on my knowledge, since uh, the beginning, the nursing uh, uh, salary have always been included uh, in the DRG uh, price or cost since the beginning. Okay. It's only for the phys physicians that they were. And you see, in the States, uh, uh, when they decide to use for a PPS, okay. it was crucial to say that that was not concerning the physician. For okay. if they have said that it is, you include the, the physician, Resistance would have been. it is, uh, uh, it will have been uh, <laughs> stopped. stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, yes, the social position of the nursing is not the social position of the physician okay. in many countries, I would say. Well, it's changing. I mean, okay. so and uh, you see, uh, the two um, detail uh, cost by DRG available uh, in the world, the first is the so-called cost weight okay, of the state of Maryland aux in the United States. It is a little state, okay. but with a system of one only payer, and it's very integrated. And they have produced, uh, we have used <laughs> the Maryland cost weight for the first uh, cost weight, French cost weight, okay? And uh, it was uh, very well done uh, for nursing uh, spending. Oh, okay. And the second one is the Australian cost weight. Yeah, those which are publicly available. Okay. But the, the Maryland, uh, we, we have tested and do comparison between uh, some hospital uh, able in France to produce cost and the Maryland, and uh, there was a very good relation. Okay. Thank you. So the, uh, the physician or the surgeon fee is not included in the DRG uh, anywhere? Sorry? The surgeon fee? Uh, you said that it is not included as part of the DRG. In private, for uh, in, in states? Yeah. Ah, in states, yes. It's included or not? It's not. It's not. So it's the not. hospital pays to the uh, surgeon from their um, profit? The, 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 in France, it is only for uh, for-profit hospital. But in states, it is not. In the uh, excluding some very rare hospital, like the veteran administration or the army, where they have a specific price for DRG, we inc which include um, salary of the physician. But it's an exception. Most of the run, the, the, the price of the DRG is for anything spent by the hospital except the fee of the physician. And what percentage of a hospital expense is normally on the doctor fees in states uh, or? I, I will say uh, less than 
It's, yeah. it's not. Uh, yeah, there's a myth that it's huge. Yeah, yeah, I it's think not huge. It's not huge. That's why I was asking yeah, this yeah, question. Correct. So they pay to the to the doctor from the profit which they make. So if their cost is hundred and if they are paid say one twenty by uh, the insurance or the Medicare, mm -hmm. so they pay to, to the doctor out of their twenty dollar which they are making on every DRG. That's like that. I am not sure to catch what you say. Yeah, he's asking. Uh, He's, he's agreeing with that, uh, the state of affairs that uh, physicians are paid separately. But he's pointing. Yes. To, yeah. But he's pointing to the idea of, okay, if they're paid separately. Who pays? And it, yeah. Ah, who pays? pays. It's the same. It's Medicare. Same. Yeah. Medicare pays. Medicare pays. Pays the fee and the hospital. Okay, so Medicare pays to the hospital DRG uh, reimbursement. Yes. Plus the physician fee. Both the things. No, no, they pay the hospital DRG plus the to the hospital. And the fee to the physician. Okay, separately. Separately, separately. separately. Uh, legally, separately. I think that on the organization, sometimes the same thing in France. The hospital uh, is an intermediary, so he receives and gives the money to the physician. Okay. But uh, yes, it's two separate payments. And the DRG in the States. Mm, the, the spending of the physician is not included. And uh, it's the same thing for the private uh, uh, for-profit hospital in France uh, and in Australia. So on what basis is the physician paid? Is it the number of hours <coughs> which they spend or uh, is it a monthly basis? Uh, what's the... Uh, are the way the hospital are paid? No, he's asking, he's oh. asking a more general question about FTEs. That is the time. Ah, the equivalent. fees. Yeah, fees. It depends upon the country, country. but uh, uh, the physician uh, are pro, uh, send, send the bill and they are reimbursed. reimbursed. Uh, I would say in France it's, uh, it's rather quick, maybe three weeks, one month. I don't know in the United States. I can I can answer this question for the states. So, if a surgeon does uh, say 50 surgeries in a month, so he's paid based on each surgery. That how much? Yes. Okay. So he 50 into um, some amount. Sorry. So, if a surgeon performs say 50 surgeries in a month, yeah, which means he's paid based on those surgeries, or he's based of on the, the number of patients he has. Uh, yes. Seen. He has treated. Yeah. So it's what does what are those uh, parameters on which the the doctor is paid? What are those parameters? Uh, it's a, it's a, the rule which was before. That means uh, uh, each uh, surgery has a, a price. And, so the, in most of the case, in fact, the price is related to a CPT4 code, not uh, an ICD code. And so that is why they, they don't wish to, to shift, uh, to, to merge, sorry. Mr. Ramesh wants to In Medicare, cashless treatment by insurance, how it is this? Uh, I am a little yeah, bit jet lagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is actually uh, the kind of uh, issues that we wanted to keep for the second meeting on approaches for India. This is for conceptual. But he is nevertheless asking a question. Uh, in India, they have started experimenting with the idea of cashless. Uh, of? Cashless, meaning that you don't have to pay to get your treatment. Uh, yes. And, and you get reimbursed. But reimbursement is the same. There's no change in, there's no DRG uh, involved. Uh, uh, if you don't pay, you are not reimbursed. Uh, no. What are you saying? You get treated without being asked to pay. To pay. For the physician, is paid directly by the insurance. By the insurance, but it's still a reimbursement. So he's just asking, uh, he's pointing to that issue. I am not sure to. The question, uh, um, I will answer by the two cases of Germany and France. In Germany, the patient is um, insured, and when he receives a service from uh, the hospital or from a physician, he's not paying. But is giving uh, his agreement and so on. And then the health insurance is directly paying the physician. Yeah. Okay? In France, it's not like that, not yet. Uh, since uh, 100 years, we try to change. But 
the patient pay and is reimbursed by the uh, health insurance. Okay? But in Germany, there is no real reimbursement. They don't pay. You see? And in France, now we have some uh, electronic uh, link. And so the patient is arriving with a, a, a card. He gives the card to the physician. Okay? He or she pays the physician. Okay? And then automatically, she is reimbursed, or she or he, uh, is reimbursed on his bank account. And now, I think it's eight. It's a one week. It's very fast. Okay? But anyway, formally, the patient in France is still paying uh, an amount before uh, for private physician, not in the hospital. In the hospital, you receive the bill afterwards for, uh, for some services, yeah. That was, uh, my, the answer was related to the question or not. <laughs> yes, yes. But you see, that depends upon the country. In UK, uh, in UK they, the patient is not paying anything. I think we'll agree this was an excellent introduction and overview to a very new and rather difficult concept. There are a lot of things that uh, you might not be able to figure out uh, immediately because each thing needs to be repeated 